Hi Gemini! Welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you. Gemini, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Gemini. Let's see. Show me important messages for Gemini. Show me important messages for Gemini, please. Commitment. Show me important messages for Gemini. What Gemini needs to know, thank you. What Gemini needs to know, please. What Gemini needs to know. Thank you. All right. So let's see. So at the bottom of the deck, we have self-focused. Okay. So let's see. So Gemini, I'm getting very strongly that we might be connecting in this reading for you with someone who might be seeking validation regarding the whole situation. I'm seeing you dealing with someone who likes your attention. Okay. On your side, we have here assumption. I feel that there is something that might be playing on your mind. You are not 100% sure about this situation or about this particular thing, matter. And um, you might be assuming many things here, okay? But the core of, the, of this issue, if I can say it that way, or this uncertainty is that you are not quite sure what is right, what is true, what is not true. I feel that there is a doubt, again, uncertainty regarding a particular situation. We have respect as a mutual energy. I'm getting very strongly that there is a need for an honest conversation between the two of you because it feels like this person is unsure about something and I'm getting that from your side also that you kind of share this energy. You might be feeling in a similar way regarding this whole situation. I feel that both of the parties, it might be something about respect. It's very, very, um, how can I say it, uh, subjective. But you might be seeing that, um, for instance, let's say it that way, that you want more respect from this person or you want them to show you more, for instance, that they care. And if that's the case, this is exactly what they want as well from you, in a sense, with regards to this validation card. So this is someone here who wants to um, also be sure about the future of this connection, okay? Overall energy, we have self-focused. I feel that at the moment, both of you might be quite busy. There might be something, you know, going on in both of your lives. I feel that, you know, um, there is something here that might be preoccupying your mind and you feel that you have to focus on this. And in this person's lives equally, I feel that there is something that um, they feel that they need to prioritize at the moment. Therefore, we have this energy of self-focus that you might feel that this person is acting in about selfish way, but at the same time, they might be getting quite similar uh, impression. Okay. But it's, you know, it might not be true, but this is how they feel. Okay. This is their perception. So let's take a look. Let's take a look here, Gemini. Let's see what Tara will tell us. Show me this person's feelings and their energy towards Gemini in this situation, please, this connection. We have two of pentacles. We have five of Two of Wands, excuse me. Five of Wands, Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. This person is very, very passionate that you are dealing 
in the, that we are connecting here in this reading for you that you might be dealing with. Show me more about this person's feelings, their energy towards Gemini in this connection, please. Show me more. We have Hermit, we have a Queen of Wands, all Wands energy. Gemini, you might be dealing with Virgo and based on, you know, on, 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 on wants energy you might be dealing here also with the fire signs so we have Sagittarius Leo Aries okay because majority of the cards uh, are wants energy at the bottom of the deck we have the death card okay you might be dealing also with Scorpio so we have two of wands five of wands ten of wands nine of wands It, it this this person here it's coming with the energy that they have all the problems you know um, it's like they have all the problems of the world at the back of their shoulders with the ten of wands i'm getting quite strongly that um this is someone who is not fully transparent with the hermit there might be a no contact situation between the two of you i feel that you know for some of you there was an argument with the five of wands conflict disagreement tension um and it's like i feel it was like something here was has been like it was some sort of cool how to say it culmination like you know it was growing the tension was growing and I feel that for some of you, um, this person was very picky. It's like certain things might be triggering, tr triggering this person with the five of wands and ten of wands. You might get an impression with regards to this person that, they, that uh, recently um, that their behavior have changed and it's like they've been waiting to have an argument with you. Something like this is coming. It's like you felt that this person is agitated or they are annoyed. And it's like they are just waiting to pick on something. Very kind of, you know, that kind of energy is showing up here. Because two of wands, it's like, this is a waiting, this is planning. But next to the five of wands, it's like waiting for, for instance, if you had a conversation, let's say that you are having a conversation with this person, right? And you're talking about something, you know, like something regarding everyday life. And, and suddenly, very, let's say, very practical thing. And suddenly this person um, is just disagreeing with you. And they are picking uh, on, on something. And they are creating everything. It's blown out of proportion. And they are creating this argument, which at the end of the day, it's about nothing. This is someone here who is very burdened. Burdened. With, with responsibilities. It's like something here is heavily waving on, the, on their shoulders. But I feel that this is like something here is blown completely out of proportion. And what I'm getting is that this person um, doesn't want to share what might be bothering them. With the Nine of Wands, this is someone here who is who has very strong defense mechanism. For some of you, something here ended between the two of you with the death card. I'm getting very strongly that this person in the past was put in a third party situation with the Queen of Wands. And now it's like they don't, they have trust issues because uh, they're coming from the place that um, if something it's not the way they want, uh, it indicates that they have to be, you know, uh, cautious. You, you're dealing here with someone who needs to, who is quite emotionally wounded, if I can say it that way, because nine of wands represent this wounded warrior card. So this person here have been through a lot, but it feels like they haven't healed fully from a previous situation or some sort of experience, experiences from the past. And they are projecting those insecurities. 
uh, on this connection. I feel that you didn't kill with someone who get very easily triggered and who has quite qu quick temper, especially with this five of wands. Ten of wands, you know, it's like I feel that after the, for instance, if you're having a disagreement with this person, with the ten of wands, they are very quickly kind of, it's like a blame shifting thing. They are like, you know what I mean? It's when you feel guilty about it, they, they, they putting themselves in that position. Oh, I've been trying very hard. I, I really wanted to think, you know, to kind of for you to uh, to to kind of see my point of view. It's like I, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a blame shifting. And this person is playing a victim card. It is you because uh, with the hermit and the queen of wands in that case, this is someone here who was put uh, in a third party situation and they haven't healed from it. This person has a trust issues. That's why they're coming with energy of validation. They need constant validation. They need your validation. And if they don't have it, they are trying to get your attention in a, in a wrong way. You know what I mean? It's a wrong type of attention, creating drama, uh, disagreements, being picky, uh, you know, making s kind of odd comments. It's just completely unnecessary. It wouldn't surprise me, for instance, that there is a no contact situation at the moment between the two of you. Or it's like, you know, you have a quiet days. They know deeply inside that they need to change. That's why we have this death card energy as well because that's purely about transformation but transformation regarding their attitude this is someone who needs to do the work with the hermit this is this experience that they had being put in a third party situation with the queen of wands mm -hmm. and because of that with the nine of wands they don't they have trust issues let's see your energy Gemini. We have seven of pentacles. Show me more about Gemini's energy, please, regarding this whole situation. Please. Gemini's feelings as well. We have a high priestess. Gosh. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Temperance. Four of Cups. And Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck we have a Two of Pentacles. You might be dealing with Pisces. I also have strong Sagittarius energy with the Temperance. Seven of Pentacles to the High Priestess to the Queen of Pentacles. I see you, Gemini, as someone who is invested in this situation, in this connection. Someone who is incredibly patient. Very, very patient. I feel they're trying to maintain this inner Zen. You know what I mean when it comes to this person, but momentarily it might be quite difficult. Because your energy is very, it's very, it's full of kind of, you know, patience again, harmony, trying to be grounded, balance. They are here coming with this majority of cards. We have the wants energy. This is, you know, this is, this is action. This is, a, um, this is something passionate. This is someone who, it might indicate indeed someone, meaning this person who has a quick temper and um, they can get very easily triggered. And also creating arguments. You are very grounded here, Gemini. Seven of Pentacles. It's all about the patience, uh, time, investment, right? And waiting for 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 to see if something here uh, will bring desired results. But but I'm seeing you being very very. Um, Seven of Pentacles is this energy of nurturing. I see you being very nurturing, very loving and very caring. And then we have this high priestess. 
I feel that in the middle of all this situation, you just don't know what's going on, why this person is like this. You might be kind of, I feel that intuition is guiding you because the high priestess is intuition. I feel that deeply inside you kind of know what's going on and why this person is acting in a certain way, but it doesn't mean that it's okay. I feel that momentarily indeed with this high priestess it's like um, because there is something here I feel that still it's like lacking clarity you might be assuming certain things about this person but at the end of the day I see you being very very grounded with the queen of pentacles and the temperance you know your value you know you know that what you bring you you know what you are bringing to the table you know your value you know that you have so much to offer with the temperance yeah i, I see you being being very calm regarding this whole situation but again it doesn't mean that it's okay and uh, the way this person is acting and then we have this four of cups I feel that you're kind of trying to maintain your balance. Look, we can look at the expression of majority of this cast. Look, she has her eyes closed. This is the same expression. This is the same expression. And even the Queen of Pentacles, she has her eyes closed. I feel that at the end of the day, you're trying to kind of be calm, trying to understand from where this person is coming from. However, I feel that again, momentarily, you might be losing your patience because as much as seven of pentacles and the temperance indicates being patient you coming from the place i feel you know day by day if this person i'm getting that if this person will continue doing behaving that way uh, i'm getting that day by day you might be changing your per perception of them of them but also it's like you are changing your attitude and you becoming more uh, bored with the attitude with the four of cups and just less and less interested because something here it's not good enough and I feel that you've tried very hard to uh, find a common ground you tried to be very supportive towards this person but it's like they were rejecting this 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 energy of love and care that it's coming from your side and I feel that you getting more and more tired and essentially bored with this attitude ace of swords i feel that you just want an honest conversation with this individual what essentially it's going on why they are acting that way with the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck i feel that you have a lot on on your plate that's what i was getting energetically i feel that this person also is is kind of um, you know preoccupied with something here with the ten of wands as well it can be a case but with the two of pentacles i feel that you have a lot on your plate and it's like this situation doesn't make your life easier this is someone who's creating obstacles and issues and at the same time i feel that there is something here in your life that you feel that you need to be flexible you, it's like you need to kind of also um divide it your focus equally on this connection and this particular thing because two of pentacles that's what it shows i feel that you are juggling here this situation and another situation regarding everyday life it, it means simply that you are very busy and you have something here i'm getting that uh, also it's equally important for uh, for you it can be work, it can be a family situation, let's say it can be a friendship, uh, it can be a, just a certain situation regarding everyday life, S as simple as paying bills and having responsibility, right? That's why I'm getting very strongly that as much as you're trying to be calm about the situation and being grounded and coming from the place of balance and having this peaceful mind, this person if they won't change i'm seeing you with the four of cups losing interest because it shouldn't be that difficult at the end of the day with the ace of swords i see you um it might be i'm getting that f collectively for a lot of you you might initiate some sort of conversation with this person but very honest conversation 
heart to heart conversation and just in order to get to the bottom of something of this whole issue because you simply want to know and based on that you might with the two of pentacles as well you might uh, make a decision what to do with this connection cross watches uh, the roles can be re reversed okay let's see the outcome show me the outcome for this connection please for the near future for Gemini and this person I'm sorry just here we have a will of fortune interesting page of pentacles five of swords eight of swords okay you might be dealing gemini with indeed with sagittarius i also have aquarius scorpio leo taurus okay i'm seeing this person i'm seeing this conversation happening here gemini and actually i'm seeing this person uh, trying to it's like they will be, with this page of pentacles i feel this person will try to uh, tell you that they understand where you're coming from and they will try to walk away from from a certain um habit from that kind of energy of creating drama and they will try to i feel this is someone here who's coming with this energy of page of pentacles wanting to kind of change something who's open for a change but it's not much this is a potential it's like them saying i i understand and i will work on it but at the end of the day and i need to be honest with you here gemini i don't i don't see them uh making those ch significant changes at all because then we have the five of swords this is an energy of mind games them being still very confrontational wanting to win an argument by all costs and um, acting in a very kind of confrontational way and with the eight of swords it's like there is no progress there is no progress because th this is a card of blockage the thing is that this is a mindset this person can change it they just need to truly kind of put an effort and decided to walk away from that uh, whatever that that five of wands is this this uh, this attitude of days and i feel that this person will tell you that they uh, they understand and yes indeed uh they will try to do everything to kind of uh to 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 change this Th they reaction or it's like with the again with this page of pentacles it's i'm coming with an offer here of 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 you know it's like a promise promise and it feels like it's a solid promise because i feel that the way they will word it it will be quite um convincing and it's something about them walking away from that energy what, this this is someone who might be saying that they will start working on themselves but with the five of swords and eight of swords i don't see long term uh, any significant change here it's like this person will make a promise but then they will come back to this old ways with the five this is someone who is um who's playing mind games i feel that they are this is someone who is arguing a lot and that's the bottom line arguing for the sake of argument it's the, and it's like they want to win the argument by all costs and it's tiring and with the eight of swords it's it's like this person is not changing there is no progress regarding the situation because that's a blockage you see the imagery right the thing is that you know 
this is a mindset. So it's, so it's, it's energy of intellect, logic, it indicates communication, spoke, spoken word, and also mindset. And in this case, this person needs to change their mindset. But it's like, yeah, I'm making a promise that I will work on this situation and myself, but you know, they're coming with the same energy and actually nothing is changing. Because this is someone who might need some sort of guidance, like a professional guidance, or someone who needs to just uh, make a decision. Because the thing is that with the Eight of Swords, again, they can change it. It's, it's just the question is if they truly want to do that. And what I'm seeing now is they don't want to truly do it. They don't want to change. They, do, they don't want to drop this attitude. And it's coming from the place of them being, you know, this is like a defense mechanism. It's this, 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 I feel that you're dealing here with someone who, put, who set a very, it's like they build a wall. And it's very difficult to get through this person. And there is a reason for that. And it's because this person experienced with the hermit um, some sort of form of betrayal on the emotional level. Wheel of Fortune, as an overall energy, I feel that, you know, at the end of the day, you might be here coming from the place that, you know, I've done everything what I have could and it is what it is. I leave it to the destiny. But Wheel of Fortune, I have to tell you one thing here, Gemini, uh, that this is a card that brings change. As much as this change here, I said in the long term, um, when I see this Wheel of Fortune, I'm going to take it back, okay? I am only human. <laughs> I'll say that in the near future, I don't see this person changing. I see them making a promise that they will walk away or detach from, from, from that attitude of days. But Wheel of Fortune here as an overall energy for this reading indicates that in the long term, and this is what I should have said at the, at the very beginning, in the long term, there might be a change because Wheel of Fortune itself brings change, significant change, positive change, positive change regarding circumstances. However, if we are talking here about uh, coming future, near future, I don't see this person changing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still seeing them as a, as a, as a, I wanted to say a certain expression, as a, as a pain, <laughs> if I can say it that way. Creating, you know, arguments. It's like this person needs your validation, and, but they are coming about it in a, in, a, in a not particularly good way. They're getting attention, but it's like a... They're getting your attention, but I feel that you are getting more agitated day by day. And looking at your energy, you, you are very calm regarding the circumstances surrounding the situation. But with the Four of Cups, I feel that deeply inside, you're getting more uh, discouraged and more bored with the situation. I see you being bored with it, bored. Nevertheless, as an overall energy, something here in a, in a, in a long term might change. But we are talking here about near future. With regards to a near future, I see this person making a promise that they will walk away from that attitude. But with the Five of Swords and Eight of Swords, at the end, I don't see them changing much. Okay. Therefore, I feel, you know, at the end of the day, that will be your choice with this Two of Pentacles, what to do with it. If you want to give them more time, maybe more space, I see conversation happening. That conversation will be quite um, revealing because Ace of Swords brings, you know, clarity. This is a card that represents triumph of truth. So something here will gain some sort of understanding. It's like you will gain understanding about something that you might be still kind of uh, not fully sure about. And I feel based on this, you will make a decision what to do next with this situation. 
Gemini, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Gemini, have a fantastic and absolutely beautiful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.